hello everyone in the previous video we learned that uh, how to redirect our user whenever we are logged in but if i am not logged in into my system and uh, if i visit our slash dashboard so it's still i'm able to access this dashboard so this is not good thing so i need to prevent this out so how i can prevent this out so basically i can apply a middleware on it which is going to check that if the user is logged in so then it's going to visit this dashboard otherwise it will not be redirected on this dashboard it will return back on the login page so it comes with the by default laravel so you can create your own ones but i'm not going to create my own one because laravel is providing us uh, this thing right so here if you have only single routes you can apply middleware here or you can apply it here right so first i'm going to apply it here in a single route and then i will add this in the group route middleware and what middleware i want to add i want to add this auth middleware so this auth middleware is by default to uh, edit in the laravel when you install this laravel ui package so where it's stored so let me um, walk through over here so let's click on this uh, app in the app you need to go to this uh, mid middleware and this one is uh, middleware what, what's the name of the middleware I think, I think it would be authenticate uh, let me uh, visit this kernel.php and um, verify that which middleware is used for protecting this out okay so this auth we are using basically this key right and this key is uh, using this authenticate right so this authenticate middleware is used for checking that if the user is logged in or not and we registered this here and we are using this key to check that our middle uh, we are going to apply the middleware through this key and if i go here and authenticate so in the authenticate uh, it's basically checking that uh, if the user is not logged in so it's going to return user on the login page so you can change this out yeah, you can uh, uh, redirect it on the different one and you can also visit this uh, middleware and check that uh, what are the functionalities are added in the, this uh, middleware right for now i'm not going to explain anything because you don't need to take care about anything you need to just apply this uh, auth and we're going to check that user is logged in or not automatically so you don't need to do anything so if i now i'm going to visit this out so it's going to direct me on the login page because i'm not logged in if i got refresh and yes it's logged in and here i'm going to type this auth dashboard again and if i visit this out so it's not going to allow me to visit this and yes it's redirecting me back so because this is the security of administrator dashboard right so whenever uh, if someone logged in to our dashboard so we can change anything so that's why we are preventing a simple user if you don't have credential so we are going to prevent it to the visit this dashboard okay so now one more problem here so if i go here and type oh, Adi Niazi, and click on this login why i'm not filling this out because it's already filled as one two three four five right so that's why i'm not filling this out and uh, if i visit this uh, local host to uh, re uh, register and before this i'm going to hit this through localhost 8000 and here i'm going to log out to uh, myself I want to show one more thing to you and yes I'm logged out and if I go here and type oh, register so this register is also uh, exist uh, in this auth route so this auth route contain the register login forgot reset and stuff like that okay so if I visit this uh, register this as uh, oops, admin okay dev at the rate of cdl cell.com so if you are not familiar with the cdl cell this is our official website where we are providing our services to our clients so if you need any of our developers so there is our team so i will let me show you in a minute that we are providing different services you can visit our team profile so where we have a graphic designer data entry operator android developer seo expert content editor, and stuff like that so you can also uh, get the services from us okay so um, our services are very reliable and uh, you can get guarantee okay so here you need to fill the password so let me fill it correctly 
okay and whenever i will register this out it's going to redirect me on the slash home not on the uh, slash dashboard i visited this out and yes it's redirecting me on the slash home right why because this registration controller should be also changed so let's go to the register controller and here if i go here and visit this redirect to property it's going on this register slash home so here i'm going to change this auth slash dashboard which we did this in the login save this one and if i visit this home so it's going to log out me and then i'm going to register one more new user okay so let's fake filler chrome extension click on this register so now it's going to open the dashboard after successful registration okay so now it's opening the dashboard so it's directed on the home page so by the way for uh, appearing a pop-up here on this dashboard so let me remove this pop-up from there our registration is working redirect is working dashboard is working and uh, let's go to the dashboard one so in the auth here is a dashboard and it's we uh, get pro not here it's here get pro uh, I think it would be it's added in the main theme so it would be uh, layouts auth not this one let's search here get pro and yes it's basically appearing this uh, this at the top for on this all right so now let's get refresh and it's not going to appearing at the top of uh, no 24 7 is yes it's also displaying this 24 7 so i need to also remove this out so i need to remove this full div here refresh and still we have a bar so let me remove this bar okay so now let's save this one and yes now it's disappeared right so we are logged in is as administrator and now i need to apply this uh, logout functionality right now let's go here and implement this logout so let me search this so uh, logout oh it's this one let's go back and yes this it's a sign out so this one would be the with the not with near notification okay so here is a notification and in the notification we have a log out okay what's the name of this uh, let me search see all notification yes and then it's md power md spacing and this one would be the of canva it's basically this one and this one is a sign out uh, i think it is would be md power no it's this one this power if i comment this out and verify that i'm uh, playing with the right uh, right icon and yes now it's uh, disappeared so it's mean that i need to apply uh, functionality on this one right okay so here i need to the i need the form where i'm going to submit this on the logout to route so the logout route is by default added with the uh, when you install this laravel ui package so laravel is added mm, laravel logout helper is added here so here i'm going to add a method of post right why i'm going to add this because i'm posting something here and then i'm going to visit this route and type log out okay so it's uh, added in the auth and uh, routes helper we don't need to manually add this out okay and then you need to add the csrf token okay it's uh, sent for cross-site tags and uh, here we need to uh, we can um, let's see 
let me how can I add this if I can add this on the button I add this out like this and then I'm going to comment this out and check that if our design is not going to stop okay but it's looking weird it's so uh, displaying the button here like this I'm not going to do this I'm going to add this thing here right and then I'm going to add a event here that uh, let me add a sign and uh, ID of uh, uh, now I'm going to add the logout to form uh, not form it will be a logout button and here I'm going to assign ID of logout form logout to form basically I'm going to log out it from the in JavaScript because I want to log out my user and I don't want to drop this button functionality that's why I'm submitting this through the JavaScript so now let's go here go down and here uh, let me add this uh, out to here I'm going to add this script and in the script I'm going to first to uh, I'm going to add this uh, document dot ready document dot ready and then I'm going to basically this is used for checking that our DOM is our page is loaded properly or not loaded uh, I missed the spell so now let's let refresh and check that our this so uh, it is working or not and yes it's working so here whenever uh, this is loaded I want to apply some click functionality on this logout button right so whenever I'm going to click on this uh, logout right function and uh, so basically this is a simple JavaScript I'm not going to add too much code of JavaScript right so whenever I'm clicking on this logout so basically I want to uh, submit this logout form I will explain this in a minute so here basically I'm checking that if my document uh, my page is loaded properly or um, properly and then here I'm checking that uh, I'm clicking on this logout button because I assigned this ID to a logout uh, icon this one so this one is basically a button right and uh, then I'm going to submit this form which I assigned this to this uh, form here right so basically I'm submitting this form here through jQuery so now let's get refresh and it's going to submit our form and log out our user so now let's click on it I clicked it and it's going to redirect on the login page on the home page not logged in and yes we are now logged out and if I visit this auth slash dashboard so it's not going to log in me again right and now we need to let's go to the web.php file and uh, here we need to remove this logout manually because we are now doing this with the theme okay so now our login is ready register is ready our dashboard is ready and we need to create some post here in our project right so let me visit this out i'm also going to add this at the top and yes it's added so this error is gone and here i'm opening this dashboard and next uh, I want to seed some categories and then create some form first I need to create some form right so I'm going to create uh, a page where I'm going to create some post so I will do this in the next video and if you like this video please uh, share your feedback and share this video with your friends so I will meet you in the next one bye bye